it's Connie, welcome back to my channel, welcome to my channel if you're new here. So for today's video I am doing a review on the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star Cosmetics Conspiracy Palette and I am so so excited to show you it. So I won't go into full detail about the palette but basically how I got it is a funny story. So it released 5pm English time and I was sat there at 4pm waiting for an hour, had it on two laptops, my dad was on one helping me, I was on another and I had a British clock on one phone like going to the millisecond. We refreshed both at the exact same time at 5pm and both Jeffree Star Cosmetics and Beauty Bay crashed. Two hours later I managed to get some bits into Beauty Bay basket crashed again. Went out for driving for like another hour and then by the fourth hour I went back, failed again. Decided to try the Beauty Bay app and I had no issues. I literally bought it with no trouble. This is all I could afford for the moment but when they restock I'm gonna try and get my hands on the mini controversy palette, also the gloss and a mirror. Today is November 7th, it is my 18th birthday. Can we, can we see the badge? Yes. So I'm going to be doing a soft birthday glam in this video. So I'm not doing anything extravagant in this video. I'm literally just doing something nice for my birthday. So it's kind of like a birthday get ready with me as well as a review. So the palette comes in this box and it's kind of like a 3D effect. The swells, so the white swells are like 3D and so is the conspiracy feel. So it's very nice and textured. So gorgeous. And the shiny bits are the bits that you can feel and there's a the matte swells. Um, I love how Shane Dawson Dawson's logo here even has swells inside it like it carries on the pattern of the box but in really really tiny is a purple star with Jeffree Star Cosmetics. The only thing I don't like is that I've seen in everyone's videos they have a little film over this logo that you can peel off. I didn't get that so I don't know why. Takes a while there but just look how gorgeous. So the mirror is absolutely stunning. I've wanted a good mirror with a big palette before. I would have loved the James Charles big palette to have a mirror but it didn't. But I can tell that I'm going to get the most use out of the two brown ones here, Tanacon and Diet Root Beer, just because they're very very natural colours. My favourite colour is Trish, that is literally just stunning but I don't think it's very wearable and there's a few colours in here I just would not wear. Eyeshadows smell very factory like, it's not very nice but you can't smell it on your eyes but in the pan it's not that great. So now we're going to go on to swatches. Here are the first two rows, and here's the last row. The only ones that I had an issue with actually wiping off, they kind of stained, was Trisha, but that kind of um, faded. It's still there, but it's kind of faded. Flaming Hot, which is the red one, um, that one is literally still there. And then my rides here have not actually left. They've left like a mark, so I can just tell that on the eyes that they're going to stain a lot like the James Charles palette. Here's a close-up of the palette and all the shades. Like, look at that. Wow. Ranch is such a nice colour for an inner corner and highlight. I know you can see me, but we're gonna, we're gonna peel the mirror a bit. Ready? Oh, that's so satisfying. And it's so clear. Like, look at that quality. Ooh, we love, we love. And without talking any much more, we're gonna go into the actual eyeshadow review, and I'm very excited for you to see it. I really wanna use Trisha. I'm feeling like that's a bit much for my outfit though, and I feel like I could do a nice natural look. I'm gonna use this mirror, because it's a good big mirror, and it's such nice quality, like it's so clear. I'm going to my makeup brushes so we can get the best pigment. I think I'm gonna go in with pigment on the crease. I might go with my pills on the lid, ranch on the inner corner and the brow bone, and then Trisha might do a little ombre from the inner corner. I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna go from there, and if I don't like Trisha, I won't use it. Wow. So normally I do my eyes first because I don't like fall out onto my face, but I decided to do face first because I wanted makeup already on this video. So I'm really hoping there's no fallout but we're really going to put that to the test today. That is such a pretty shade. That would be such a nice transition colour with Flaming Hot here. I think I'm going to do a patting brush and go in with my pills and really pat that on because this doesn't seem like a colour that's going to show up a lot. Yeah, this seems barely there. It's a little bit of pink pigment, but it's not really... It's not really showing up. When I add a bit more pigment, it looks a bit nicer and you can kind of see the pink a bit more. It's very much a base colour. Oh, that's quite a nice champagne-y colour. 
I don't think the hot pink will go with my outfit today. It will go with the look a lot, but I'm thinking I'll go with just a theory. So it's completely covered up my pills. I'm going to go do my lashes and my eyeliner. And I'm about to nip to the salon. That's why I kind of had to do a first look this morning. Get my hair cut and probably curled. So I will come back with my full final review once my hair and the rest of my eyes are done. So this is the final look like you saw at the beginning. My hair's all curled now. It's a lot later. If you want to see a haul of what I got for my birthday, that'll be in my next video. I am in love. It's so, so good. The intricate detail, the thought that went into the plan. It was £48, free shipping, but I definitely think it was worth it. Very extortionate, the price is very expensive, but I very much like it. I am so impressed. And then also, I went and added ranch to my brow bone and inner corner, and I also did it on my cubist bone nose and uh, cheekbones, because I really liked it as a highlighter, because so I can tell that's going to be my new favourite highlighter now, and I'm going to have to add it sparingly, because that will run out very, very fast. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. All my social media are in the description box below. Subscribe if you have not subscribed, and we would love to have you part of the family. And then turn on your post notifications if you have not done so yet, so you never miss an upload. I love you guys so very much. Bye!